All right, for more on this, let's bring in Dr. Flavio Romero Macau, who joins us from Perth in Australia. He is a senior lecturer at the University of Edcombe. Uh, good to have you on the show. Um, you know, the Suez Canal, is, it's one of the busiest uh, shipping lanes in the world. And the Ever Given is, is stuck in the part where the canal, uh, there's only a single traffic lane there. I mean, how much disruption is this going to cost to uh, the global supply chain? Well, uh, it will be a little bit of disruption, but not something significant because we have about 50 ships going up and down every day. So for the lucky ones that are stuck in the traffic jam, it will be very unfortunate, but it, it, should, it shouldn't be more than a splinter on, on global logistics as a whole. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the larger uh, problem at hand. Um, as you know, ships are getting larger and larger, in fact, uh, this ever given one is part of a new category of ships called ultra large container ships. I mean, some of which are even too big for uh, the Panama Canal. Isn't this going to be a problem uh, moving forward? It can be a problem, but it is a manageable problem. It will be about the restrictions that we will put to the traffic of those ships, depending on the tide, depending on the wind. So it doesn't mean that you can't move those ships to the, the canal but that you have to pay more attention to weather conditions and other variables in place. When we're talking about a, a ship this large, I mean, what could be some of the, um, uh, the possibilities as to this ship running? I mean, I was reading one report that uh, there was a strong gust of wind that actually pushed the, the ship off course. Mm -hmm. So uh, you'll have to measure the wind, you'll have to measure the currents and the tides, and maybe in, in a given day, you will not allow those ships to go in this part of the canal where it can block the two-way movement. Okay, um, and how I mean, efficiently run are, are these uh, vitally important uh, passages of water like the Suez Canal? I mean, these, these have to run like, like clockwork, I'm assuming, not only that, but also other, other canals like the Panama Canal or even the Bosphorus Strait. Yeah, you will have a big line, uh, but the good thing is that you can reroute, you have options, you can go around, it will cost you a little bit more time, a little bit more money, but there are alternatives. So yes, it is a nuisance, but it's not really a big disruption as long as you solve your problem in two or three or four days. Flavio, pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for coming on. I do appreciate your time.